What is going on right there? And I'm about to checking out Vexed. Hideous. And this comes from Triple Six. What's going on, homie? If you guys have any requests, hit me up. Vexed. Know nothing about it. Couldn't tell you. At first, when he sent me his request, I thought it was the band that uh, Corey Taylor's son is in. The name is kind of similar, but it's not Vexed. So this is not that. First thought so, though. Is that Vinted or something? Vinted? I think Vinted. I guarantee the comment section has to, I don't want to say full, but has to have a good bit of uh, spirit box comparisons. What, Courtney LaPlante has to. Maybe a little ginger, but Tatiana sounds a little different version. Sounds a little different. But spirit box, definite similarities. <laughs> Come on. You let that ride. Ah, bro, 
They should they should use that beat more in the song. Like bring that in the bridge some. Even though the breakdown during the bridge there was nasty, so I don't want to take remove that by any means. But somehow, man, they're the fucking musicians. Figure it out. We need that beat in there somewhere. It says 15 seconds. Okay. Just making sure like there wasn't like something popping up since there was like 20 seconds left. But uh Nice. YouTube know or they knew what was up. Ginger. Right there. Infected rain? Interesting. But whatever. Uh good song, man. Now we live in a fucking metal world where it's no longer shocking. It just isn't. To see a female uh metal band where doing harsh vocals and clean vocals, doing both. And doing both very fucking well. Like we have a bunch now. This Vex now makes like what? Probably like between seven and ten that I, that I know of. Like a, there's a or they've been on the channel. There's that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Ginger, of course, I think was the first one or Arch Enemy, maybe Arch Enemy that I heard. I think. I think Arch Enemy, but whatever. Point is, it's no longer like that that shock factor when it's a chick screaming at you beautifully with harsh vocals is no longer like the shock factor's gone. So now you just you just gotta be fucking good at it. You know, you can kind of cheat when it's when you get the shock factor. But the thing is, they're they've all been actually really good. Like they they crush it. Some of the men need to look out though. Some of these men you lose your fucking jobs. Because these chicks can really sing. And, and they have the advantage of their clean vocals being, like, different. Like, a man's clean vocals, cool. It contrasts to their harsh vocal. But there's a difference. Like, the, the female doing the, this harsh vocal to her clean vocal is, like, a broad, like, difference. And it can really, like, really shake up a song. I'm here for it. Great breakdown, too. Really good bass line. Also, today's, like, the day of bass lines. Good job. Well, bassists, bassists don't get love. They just don't. Nobody gives a fuck. Chicks care about the lead singer, the lead guitarist, the drummer. No one cares about the bassist. Poor bastards. But yeah, if they could, my, my critique would be, if they could just find a way, that outro beat, instrumental, if they could find a way to put that in there, somewhere, we could have hit like a whole other level of special. How? Or where? I have no idea. With that song, I have no clue. But it would have been cool if they could find a way.